Welcome to the UC Berkeley Extension course, Introductory Biochemistry. Biochemistry is a fascinating, complex field where you can get answers to many big questions, such as, why do we succumb to certain diseases and how might the cures work? How do we get energy from our food? And how can we design better drugs and therapies? Here's what you can expect in each module. After reviewing the outcomes to get a sense of what you'll be able to do at the end of the module, you'll want to start with the reading assignment to get the big picture. Then you can delve into the more challenging topics in the animations and interactive lectures. These aren't a passive viewing experience. Every minute or two, a question will pop up to check your understanding. And how do you know you'll still remember the answer to those questions in a few days' time? Find out by taking the self-review to test your retention. You'll get to answer the same questions from the lecture you watched previously. These aren't graded, but you don't want to skip over these. There's a growing body of evidence about the importance of spacing out your learning experiences in this way. Another part of each module are discussion forums, where you'll be able to talk about real-world examples like dieting and how most cancer drugs work. The worksheets are open book assignments designed to help you master the material necessary to perform well on the quizzes and the final exam. A couple notes about time and scheduling. About halfway through the course, you'll see a critical info tab where you'll find information about scheduling your final exam. Don't let it sneak up on you at the end. Plan ahead. You'll need to take it within 180 days from your course enrollment date. You'll also need to give your instructor up to seven days to grade each assignment, so plan accordingly. Check your syllabus for more tips about time management. You might notice when you're first browsing the course that you can't see any course material beyond Module 4. That's because we've set up a checkpoint quiz to make sure you've got a solid grasp on the foundational material in the first four modules before moving on. There's a second checkpoint in Module 8. They're also great practice for the final exam because they'll have similar kinds of questions and they're also closed book and have a time limit. If you haven't already, go through the links under the Getting Started area on the course homepage. You'll need to complete the orientation to be sure you're comfortable with the basic functions of the learning management system. And of course, be sure to read the syllabus carefully. Technical help is also available 24-7. Just click on Help and you'll be able to call or chat with someone or search the Canvas guides. If you have any other questions about this course, don't hesitate to contact your instructor.